Johnny Fontana, Half Amazing TV, back with another video. I'm kind of liking these short little tutorials, right? So today what we're going to do, we're going to talk about um, how to actually pair music again. But something that I really didn't talk about or not as much is intuition and memory, right? Um, I just got the song, it's called The Tribe by um, Elliot Fitch. It just came out on Friday, right? Uh, the I think the, the 10th or the 11th. Today's the 14th. So just three days ago. So just for time, date, and stamp purposes, right? So I picked it up. And then immediately, I was like, oh, dude. Like, it sounds like another song that I have. So again, that's where the intuition comes from, but also the memory. So as you're playing out, you're like, oh, you know, this is how, um, or this is how this song sounds. So I'm going to play it with another song that I know. But again, that comes through memory and also intuition. Intuition is mostly how you mix it, how everything goes, coupled with the actual technical in terms of when I spoke about when you're EQing, not letting the song come out too early. You may have to delay it, then pop the full-on EQ in order to get that effect because sometimes if you have the EQ or the volume too high, then the, the sounds may sort of clash. So quickly, let me show you what I'm working with first and then um we'll get a, we'll go into the tutorial and the process of how i look to mix them right it's very important that we do this all right let's do a authenticity check here all right so i'm working with this track right and so as you see right now it has, if you, if you can see the, the arrow, it has all this, right? And it's got an hour, I mean, sorry, one minute. Uh, we're not gonna talk about bars, just make it simple when it, as we talk about uh, timestamp. So it's got about an hour left, but you know that right here, it's got about 30 seconds. So even though you have that one minute, it only really classifies as that 30 seconds. So now, I'm playing also this track. This is uh, it's an old track. I think it came out in 2007, about 12 years ago. 12 years ago by Funk Agenda, it's called Le Souk, right? So I know that by the time it gets to the main point, it's about 1:45. Okay, so then here's what happens now. So let's say this song is playing out. get caught up right now. It's fine if you want to take this direction, but again, it's just dragging. It's dragging. It's dragging. 
but I don't want it to drag, right? Especially because of the type of song that it is. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I know that right here, from here till about right here, it's about, um, about let's see, from here to here's about a minute. So I know that from right here to right here is about a minute. So I don't want it to drag. But again, how do you know all of this? Because I've listened to this song long enough. Um, and I know that the fact that depending on what I want, what I want to do. So if I wanted to do that extension and maybe add an acapella to that, I can do it. But let's just say I'm in a mood because it's just, you know, a fire track. It, it's moving and I want to keep people moving. I don't want to have to do the 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 acapella and all that extending. Why? Because what creates more of an impact? Two tracks chugging along with an acapella distractor or with a song like that that has a lot of high fire impact coming into another song and keeping that momentum going. Which one do you think? Obviously, you can do... It depends on the time. So, for example, let's say I've been going full on like momentum 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 you know like one track full on close momentum close momentum close momentum and then maybe like the third or fourth track i could then you know sort of flatten it out with a chuggy mix where i'm going intro to outro and then add an add an acapella or even i don't have to add an acapella i can just let it run through run its course you know give people a break and all that stuff right but again it all depends on what you're doing but here is because and where, where intuition comes to play, you sort of have an idea that this song goes. And then also, you know that based on how, when, when you played it, you can tell, I don't have to sit there and, and mess with the actual, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the track to see, okay, where can I mix it? Okay. Yes. If you don't know the song, you'll have to do that. But a lot of the times you can just look at it or you can tell, okay. This started at, you know, 626, so intuitive, intuitively, you would just pop it right there. And that's what happened to me. So a lot of it is intuition-based, and intuition just doesn't come out of thin air. Intuition is information that has been internalized and that you can then uh, retract um, and, and use for future reference, okay? So it's basically a lot of, a lot of the information that's been stored that, through memory that I have in my mind, and then I can later out bring it okay so it's not that i just automatically knew because i'm psychic it's just because information through you know listening to music listening to other songs that have similar breakdowns and patterns and so forth and so on now you have to keep in mind the sound like we talked about before the clashing if you find that you're trying this method and the music is clashing don't bring it all in right um don't uh don't uh, um, use your EQ all full on. Just let it, you know, gradually come up. And then when it's time, then you can pull the full the, the full on effect. Okay. As you can see, I'm not using my mixer. I mean, I am using my mixer, but I'm not showing you my mixer just because of the, the video and all that stuff. But I showed you what I'm working with before. So now let's start with this now. <music> Coming in, you just want to just gradually pick it up. Don't let it come in too, too quickly.
drive out slowly because there's a lot of highs you don't want to create like that with the music and I'm probably gonna let it sit until the breakdown because there's too much highs on that one that I don't want to create a void but I want to bring it low enough so that when I cut it out there's not that abrupt movement or void I'm out Signature. have it now basically hold on for a minute all right so there you have it right it was a quick tutorial um again just to uh recap it's all about intuition right it's all about knowing exactly what to play, but that intuition comes from the memory. It comes from you playing and getting to know your music, internalizing it for later use, okay? Now, some people just don't have that ability to retain this information and later on, you know, extract it in order to, you know, play it out um, because it all depends on the mood the demographic and all that and how you pair and associate the music with the setting, with the time, with the venue, with the, with the people, with whatever that's going on, even with your mood internally, right? So it has a lot to do with feelings, emotions. That's what programming is all about. It's not technical. Programming has a lot to do with emotions, uh, feeling, people, you know, pairing everything. It's, it's, it's a mixture. So um, that intuition then comes from your ability to create, so to connect with the with the crowd, with the people, with the audience, and create that that pairing, right? So it's like an energy, but it all comes from you. It comes from you internalizing the information and then so that you can extract it and use it again, okay? But again, um, you practice these things, you have an idea. Um, as you're playing, you can sort of like figure out, okay, well, this has one minute left. So I have to subtract, you know, you do your, your subtraction. But again, because you do it often, you don't have to sit there and be like, okay, well, one minute minus uh, an hour, uh, one minute and a half, that means that I have to cut this uh, or add another um, half, ha uh, half a minute to this track in order for it to work. Or I may have to loop it until this one goes out. No, you don't, you can do that, but it's just automatic because you have that intuitive um, notion in being able to pair these things based on your previous um, exper experiments and experiences with other songs, right? That you can then apply that to other songs going forward. That's your tutorial. Johnny Fontana, Half Amazing TV. We out.